Hi Libra, welcome to your October 2022 Astrology Horoscope Forecast. Happy birthday Libra, this is your month and we are also entering a phase of eclipses which start from your month and they carry on till about 2022. So the first eclipse, this is rather the second half of the eclipse between um, Taurus and Scorpio. It's going to be there on 25th of October and the next one is going to be there on November 8th. Um, to give you a cue as to what is it that one can expect, um, these solar eclipses primarily are happening in fixed signs. So we have uh, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. But uh, that does not mean it's not going to be affecting the rest of us. We all have Taurus somewhere in our birth chart. So it's worth your while to have a look at uh, where is it that Taurus is placed for you and uh, see as to uh, which house for you is lighting up. Now the interesting thing is that uh, Taurus despite being this uh, earthy sign it's all about um, reliability, it's dependability and Taurus is stable solid uh, sign but it has uh, Uranus the wild boy of astrology which also rules the internet uh, it's unpredictable it's chaotic and uh, Uranus has been transiting uh, Taurus since 2018 and carries on doing so since the uh, next couple of years now Uranus is creating this sort of air of unpredictability the drama around so there can be abrupt endings they can be abrupt beginnings uh, and because this is corresponding to Scorpio which is ruled by uh, the warrior planet Mars and Pluto uh, things are going to get fairly intense you know they just on the superficially things just won't get sorted I mean if you really want to work something out you really have to dig underneath and deep and see as to you know what is it that is really um, not working or what is it that needs to get changed because Scorpio is also about transfer Information. Similarly with uh, Taurus, uh, it has to do about your own sense of security, your own sense of self-worth. What is it that makes you feel worthy? Uh, how is it that you associate money? Um, you know, does it, um, do you feel your sense of worth increases because you have money in the bank? Uh, do you feel that you need to be, if you were making more money, you would be respected more? What is your sense of self-worth associated with. So these are the things which are going to get highlighted uh, for you. Let me break down the month for you. On second we have Mercury that is going direct in your house of behind the scenes. This is the house of subconscious and uh, secrets. It's also the house of service and uh, great time for uh, you know helping out those who are not in a position to do so. Wonderful time for charities. Great time to be donating. Uh, if you're decluttering, wonderful time to be going and giving uh, things to those who you know um, cannot afford a uh, great time for therapy as well so for those of you who have been having a lot of sleepless nights have just been feeling restless or there's a lot of stuff that's going on in your head good time to be going and uh, seeking uh, a professional therapist who can sort of guide you through through who can tell you exactly you know uh, give you a perspective uh, rather this is also uh, a time wherein that family secrets can uh, come out because it, it's also the house of skeletons family skeletons so they can be that uh, unconsciously maybe something comes about that you have not been wanting to talk about and something just comes out in the open on the 9th we have a full moon that is there in your house of uh, marriage and business partnership and it is joining uh, Jupiter over there. Uh, so full moon in any case you know they, they tend to be very emotional because something is coming to a culmination, something is finishing, something is ending, either we are finishing a project but in this case it seems to be a partnership. It can be that for some of you you've finished a project with a partner and you're moving on to another project. Um, in certain cases it can be that in a marriage that you are sort of you know uh, taking a break or you have come to a realization you know that things are not really uh, working out for you 
but um, it, it is also um, a time wherein that you need to be evaluating your relationships you need to be seeing whether you know everything is working out right and uh, necessarily always it does not mean that you walk away from it uh, from your marriage or from your partnership at times it also speaks about uh, how is it more that you can contribute or what is it that needs to get changed what is it that is um, no longer working in the relationship uh, you also uh, for some of you if you're dealing with people who you view uh, as equal to you you may want to stand back uh, a little and you know let them have uh, the spotlight especially in a business situation if you've been working with a partner and you know things are culminating now it's worth your while to be you know rather than run for the accolades and you know wanting the spotlight uh, for you um, it it would be it would be nice to let the partner take the spotlights and both of you are going to be reaping the rewards of it uh, singles for those of you who are single you may find that you know you have your eye on someone and now is the time to be jump starting a connection the feelings that you have for them you know you they could feel more intense uh, now and you may find it easier to express your emotions with a partner on a one on one setting You'll also be more inclined to be uh, fully interested uh, in the feelings and needs and you may want to accommodate them however you uh, can. And uh, it's a good time to negotiate with others. Uh, it's a good time because uh, in any case, Librans, you're quite amiable. You know, you, uh, as much as possible, you avoid confrontations. You don't want to be in a do or die kind of a situation. You keep uh, want to... Uh, smoking the peace pipe but um, this is also a time you know the way you would want to um, make compromises make adjustments on behalf of the uh, other um, this house also unfortunately at times rules open enemies so those whom you know about you know people who are like openly hostile to you so something could come up along those lines you know it could uh, won't take you by surprise but I think it could be uh, you know, may not be that pleasant. On the eleventh, we have Mercury that is moving to your own house, and uh, a lot of conversations around uh, what is it that I want, what do I, where do I want to go? You could be reinventing yourself. You could be, uh, you know, maybe reinventing an image of you. You could be starting a personal project uh, at this time, and you could be very conscious of how the world perceives you, or how it is that you want the world to perceive you. On the twenty fourth, we have sun that moves into your sign of earned income and joins venus over there and then on the 25th we have a new moon solar eclipse that is there in the same house of uh, your earned income and self worth and then after that we close the month on 30th with mercury that comes and joins this grand party so we have four planets that are sitting over here so sun of course with venus it's a beautiful aspect and venus also uh, partially rules this house because uh, she's also about uh, money besides being beauty and sex and creativity um, and sun of course is going to be giving you that uh, courage so you uh, with the solar eclipse for some of you you could be feeling slightly pressurized as far as finances are concerned uh, you could be um, you could be a little concerned about you know, new projects and they're taking away money from you or you're having to sink more money into it uh, for some of you it can also be that um, it's generally a time you know where everything feels very intense you could just feel that oh there's so much of money i'm spending and you know it's not uh, you know seeing the quick return um, from the money it would be worth your while leaprins to uh, step back and take a second look before jumping in especially where investments are concerned not a wise time to be jumping into um, financial investments uh, not a wise time to be you know uh, taking uh, making very impulsive decisions and uh, then regretting them uh, later on uh, however if they are decisions or investments that you've been thinking about is a complete R&D that has got or a research that has got uh, done uh, then by all means it is uh, it would be a wonderful time to be making investments you know which can bring you good returns uh, but I would still necessarily expenditure especially when it has to do with you know big ticket items so you know, if you're impulsively buying a house or impulsively 
planning to do that luxury uh, holiday or make that uh, you know buy some luxury um, items and especially when you can't afford them then it would be worth your while to step back and take a look and see whether it is uh, something that you really need and also because we have our um, eclipse which is aligned over here in the house of uh, your earned income it can be that you know there could be just this sense of being very impulsive and your sense of self-worth could you could feel you know that um i'm not um you know i need to be earning more in order to be good so uh, your own sense of self-worth with what you are contributing also comes to light uh, or gets sort of evaluated or comes into focus during this time mercury of course is going to be encouraging you to find interesting ways to uh, create more money for yourself so there do seem to be a lot of conversations there do seem to be a lot of um, you know interactions uh, that are happening around investments that are happening around maybe some of you will be thinking about taking another job maybe there'll be multiple jobs that you will be uh, considering on so uh, overall a lot of focus on um, your sense of self-worth as far as where money is concerned and uh, also I think uh, somewhere you need to be looking at your um, your own thought patterns as to how it is that you relate to money Librans. what is it that makes you very fearful about money do you go in these phases of uh, you know swinging from uh, spending uh, you know mindlessly on things which you do not require just to make yourself feel good or do you go and then move to uh, an absolute phase of when you don't have the money and you're really sort of pinching pennies in every corner so the advice for you is moderation and um, yes you rule the scales lovely librans but especially with this eclipse try and learn the lesson uh, for you i think if you can try and save for a rainy day um, and make really wise investments and stay moderate and not get you know feel very emotionally um, connected to the urge to prove a point or a sense of self-worth just financially is something that you need to be careful about do remember to like and subscribe and hit the notification bell it's been a pleasure speaking with you i would love it if you can leave a comment below it's always wonderful to hear from you it encourages me to create more work i'll see you soon and thank you so much for watching